Okay, everybody, I want to make it really easy for you to be successful with the skimmer, but you've seen me kind of run around. I cannot reach all 30 of you in one shot. So there's already um, videos on sketching and measuring. I'm going to add some cutting and folding and uh, gluing and adding the fastener videos today. So hopefully everybody will be done by the end of the day. So scissors. You can see here I already cut out my fins. And if you see right there, you can just see on the edge a little bit of the pencil. I try to cut right through the pencil line so that half is on what's left over and half is on the piece that I cut out. That way I know I'm cutting super straight. So you can see this one is not perfect. I got too much of the pencil line right here. Um, so that was not a perfect cutout. I'm going to go back and actually just try to trim the slightest bit off there and I think that looks a little bit better and I'm really going for perfection here I'm taking the time to do it right you have the time in class if you use it so let's take a look at the body now hello I want to do all of my solid lines which are these um, three this short three inch one this short three inch one and then this long one that goes all the way across so I'm going to take the time, I know you can't see this, but I want you to watch. I don't close the scissors all the way, and I don't do this in a fast manner. And if I see that I'm off, I can go back and correct as I'm doing it. I know this is the most exciting video you've seen all day. It's going to get 12 hits on YouTube. Okay, pretty darn good. You can see there a little bit of the pencil mark. So I'm going to go back and clean that up. Otherwise, I think I'm pretty darn straight all the way across. Let me see if I can just snip that tiny bit on the edge there. Not bad. Now I'm going to do those two three inch slits. Okay, and that's all that I want and all that I need right there. When you cut this out, again, solid lines only. Don't cut out any of the fold lines. So you're going to cut the solid lines. Folding. Uh, let's see if I can show you this down here. I know that looks kind of weird, but hopefully you'll see what I'm doing. I take the ruler and I put it onto the fold line on that dashed line. Use my fingernails to start folding it up. And when we're folding, we're not folding just to get something cut in half, or not half, but we're not folding just to fold a piece of paper up. What we're actually doing is we want to break the fibers in the paper. The fibers in the paper are what keeps it laying flat. We don't want it to lay fat, flat, we want it to lay in whatever configuration we tell it to. So I'm going to use the ruler here to actually crease that fold. I'm going to flip it over. Right, so there's the folded bit. I'm actually going to flip it over and fold it in the opposite direction. And then I'm going to crease those fibers again. You can use your thumbnail for this um, or ruler. Either works. So see, I've got one. Come back. I've got one side there, and that's sticking out a little bit, but when I glue in the other piece, that'll be fine. So you're going to do that all along here. You're going to do that on the opposite rail, and then you're going to do that along this fold line here. When you're done, okay, see how it stands up like that? And how that part at the back folds down and meets there? That's what we're going for. You do the same thing over here. You cut it out and you fold on those fold lines. 
right? That is cutting and folding. I'll do another video on putting it together in a second.